So to make the gelatine bubbles, we don't actually need a lot of equipment. We need the water and we need the gelatine, obviously. I use this type of gelatine. It's um, a powder form. You can get sheets. They both work the same. It's just what I prefer to use. And we'd also need to mix the gelatine. We need a tablespoon and we need a quarter of a teaspoon. Obviously something to mix it in. And then the syringe. The syringe is a blunt-edged ended syringe Ooh, come on out. so it's not got a point on it at all so it's flat ended and you, you get them in various sizes obviously the different sizes will affect the size of your bubble I think this one is a, a size 18 gauge now you need um, a syringe you know the pump part as well obviously now I'm going to mix the gelatine up and this sort of gelatine it needs to stand for about 10 minutes so a tablespoon of water in the little pot and one quarter of a teaspoon of the powder. I'm just going to go and let that soak in now. And like I said, I'll take about 10 minutes just to soak that in. Now it's been about 10 15 minutes, and the, the gelatine granules have now soaked up the water and it's ready for warming. Now I personally I just prefer to pop it into the microwave. The microwave's downstairs, I can't do it in here, but um, what I will do is just put it in for the microwave for about five seconds, seven seconds, just enough to melt it down. Now I've just microwaved the gelatine. Uh, different microwaves are different strengths, so um, just keep an eye on it as, as you're doing it. What you'll see is it'll start to boil up in the centre as soon as that starts then you switch your microwave off and bring it out. It is very hot though, so be very careful. Like I said, mine takes about five to se five to ten seconds. Um, so you, you, it may vary what, on what, what yours will do. But you want it to boil anyway. But as soon as it starts to boil, take it out. I say it's very hot, so be careful. Now give it a little stir. Get your syringe ready. And... What you need is you need air in this chamber here, okay? So you don't ever draw any of the liquid into the actual syringe part because it'll be a nightmare to get out and what it'll do, it'll set and it'll block the whole thing up. But you do need air in this chamber. So draw your syringe back so you've got air in this chamber. Get your gelatine and get your syringe and you need to get a drop of gelatine on the bottom there. <coughs> So you need to hold the syringe up upright, get the drop on the bottom and then push a little bit of air into that drop. Okay. Now you need to push enough air into it to get rid of the whole of that drop. If you can see at the moment there's only a small bubble there but there's quite a lot of gelatine liquid on the bottom still. Now if you leave that there the, the bubble is two different thicknesses. It's it's fat on the bottom and it'll be thin on the sides. And what it'll do, it'll dry with a flat bottom. So you need to push enough air in to get rid of that drop. Put a little bit too much in there so it popped. But you can see, you get a fair idea on how much you can sort of push it. Now what's happening here is the gelatine's cooling a little bit and I've got quite a bit up on the side. Can you see how the bubble is sticking to the side of the syringe? So we'll just clean the syringe off. Grab another drop. And come on. Doing it but it's getting mucky. Be camera shy. Thing is, what you find is you'll get a sweet spot where you'll be able to do loads. Ah, there you go. There's one. Just got to get that trip on the end. There you go. Okay. So now you can decide what you're going to do with that bubble. <coughs> now I did um, a cake where I had what was um, like a dolphin with water, and I had bubbles going up. 
I've seen Alan Dunn use these little bubbles, a lot smaller than these, um, on leaves if you want to look like um, raindrops and things on leaves. That looks really nice. Now decide where you're going to put your bubble. Obviously you need to decide before you start blowing them where you're going to pop them. Right, I'm just going to put that one back in. And I've got some wire here. I've just secured one end in the polystyrene. It's just to hold the wire while I'm working. So get yourself a drop of gelatine, blow your, your bubble. It's misbehaving today. I think what it is is the gelatine's just cooling a bit too much. Right, there you go. Oh, I've got a double one now. Don't want a double one. Just chuck on there a second. Right. Just a single one will be fine. Right, there you go. Got your single bubble. And all you've got to do is just run your, your bubble over your wire. Now your wire needs to be horizontal. And your syringe needs to be vertical. Now if the wire when you finish your design is going to be going up that's fine you can do whatever you like with them once they're dried but while they're drying and you're putting them on the wire it need, you need to sort of go horizontal and vertical you see that those little bubbles sort of went on the side there you can do them like that if you want to but you haven't got a lot of control with how big they are if you do them like that there we go I think with this sort of size syringe, I've never been able to get the bubble any bigger than probably a five pence piece. But I, th I do think that's all to get to do with the size of your syringe. 